Hello, uh, welcome to this course uh, on uh, the course on differential equations. It's aimed at engineers, but other STEM fields as well. Uh, so it's based on this book. Uh, it's called Notes on DFQs, and you can get it here. A uh, little bit more about that in a bit. So maybe some of you are wondering what uh, DFQs are, the differential equations. It's a diff for differential, and then EQs for oh, DFQs, right? Um, all right. So, uh, and today what we're going to do is we're just going to go over like a syllabus. What what are we going to cover in this class? And and this is uh, it's going to be this this course is going to be sort of a work in progress for a while. So I'm going to be slowly posting uh, more and more lectures, but not. Uh, you know, not extremely, maybe regularly, but uh, every once in a while there's going to be a new lecture. So maybe you're watching this when it's just getting started. Maybe you're watching this when the course is complete. I don't know. Uh, so, but, uh, you know, maybe once every week or two, it's going to be a new lecture. All right. So, <clears throat> so what is this uh, course? It's a, it's, it's basically like a first undergraduate course on differential equations. Um, usually, uh, you know, in an engineering program. So this this would be one of the math classes uh, that, that you need to take. Uh, but it doesn't have to be just engineers. It could be mathematicians. It could be other, um, uh, you know, other technical fields. But that's 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 generally where it's uh, aimed at. And it's generally would come at the end of the calculus sequence. So maybe you'd have calculus one, two, three, you know, uh, one variable calculus. Calculus one and calculus two, uh, and then you know you get several variable calculus in calculus three, and then you know often uh, the next class that one takes is a differential equations class. So that's that's what this is, right? Now the book that it's based on is a free textbook, uh, so you can find it on the website uh, on, on this website over here. Um, and it's uh, it's available as a as a PDF. It's available as uh, you know. You can just download it for free if you want to. Uh, print it out if you want to. Um, there is our HTML pages that are made from the same text uh, that are you know a little bit more browsable. If you want to print it, probably you want to uh, use the PDF, or you can get an expensive uh, paperback. And that's probably the best way um, that that you can. Uh, you know, support this project is to, uh, you know, buy a copy, and it's it's not expensive. It's 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 on the order of uh, twenty dollars, or maybe a little bit more. Uh, you know, and you know, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna get uh, you know a few dollars from there. Maybe I'll be able to buy a coffee <laughs> if, if you buy a copy. Um, don't get that much. All right, so <clears throat> I developed this 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 book. To teach basically this course uh, when I was uh, at UIUC, uh, University of Illinois at Urbana Champaign, and these were, uh, you know, these are the course numbers. Uh, you know, that's, that's one of them is a four-hour week course. One of them is a three-hour week course. Usually, one would, you know, see this class as a three-hour a week course, uh, but you know, that's that's why there's maybe a bit more material. Um, than, than usually, and it's also you know each each university has a slightly different uh, selection of material. I also taught uh, UCSD 20D, which is uh, this sort of uh, this sort of course at University of California at San Diego. Uh, it's just a quarter course, so uh, it's 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 a bit more compressed. Um, then another type of course that uh, that I uh, uh, use this uh, this book with is. Um, at OSU at Oklahoma State, where I'm at right now, uh, this, uh, this class uh, number of uh, 4,233, which is, uh, you know, it's, it's a little bit more advanced, basically like a second semester uh, uh, undergraduate differential equations. Uh, so mostly based, you know, mostly on ordinary differential equations and a little bit of uh, partial differential equations. All right. So... <clears throat> It's a similar course uh, that you know normally uh, you know and, and you know essentially all of these courses are normally taught with some book like uh, Edwards and Penny or Boyce de Prima. Um, so if you have uh, you know if you've taken 
uh, one of these courses, this is, uh, this is what it is. Or if you're taking one of these courses, you could uh, maybe use this course as sort of supplementary um, information. It's, it's going to be very similar uh, in style. All right. So let's look at the syllabus. To, you know, what are we covering eventually? What is this course going to cover once it's complete uh, in, in some time? Uh, so, and it's basically, I'm just listing chapters in the book. Uh, so first we're going to, you know, do a little bit of introduction uh, to differential equations and how we classify differential equations uh, before we get to try and solve any of them. Uh, then we're going to look at first order equations or equations where just the first derivative appears. Well, clearly those are going to be simpler. Uh, then, uh, then we look at the higher order ordinary differential equations. So equation was just uh, one uh, 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 independent variable. Uh, and mostly we're looking at second order um, equations here and mostly uh, sort of uh, simpler, you know, linear constant coefficient uh, equations uh, in that chapter. Then we're going to look at uh, a little bit at systems of ODEs. So this is going to be when, when I have several equations uh, that, you know, you have to consider all at once, basically. You have to, you know, uh, the solutions are going to have to satisfy several equations at once, basically. That's, that's what a system is, right? Then we're going to look at a little bit at Fourier series, uh, which is basically, you know, it's decomposing a signal into its constituent frequencies. And uh, we're going to use Fourier series to solve some uh, basic PDEs. Uh, so partial differential equations, so equations where you have more than one independent variable, and those are uh, quite a bit more complicated. All right. Then we look at a little bit more on uh, eigenvalue problems uh, because Fourier series really comes out out of eigenvalue problems. And it might at first seem weird eigenvalues. So eigenvalues maybe in, in linear algebra, if you took a linear algebra class, uh, what does it have to do with differential equations? So we'll, we'll get to that. So, um, and it's really where the Fourier, uh, Fourier series comes up, uh, but you know, you can generalize that, uh, that whole idea. Um, then we're going to look at Laplace uh, transform, which is uh, kind of related to, to Fourier series, but it, it's going to seem um, quite a bit different, quite a bit different than anything else. And it's, it, it is actually quite useful to solve differential equations. There's a lot of other uses as well, but uh, for differential equations, it's, it's, uh, it's quite a neat, uh, neat trick. Um, to uh, you know, to solve things, it's to you know transform. It sort of goes between, um, in some sense, time and frequency. Uh, so, and it takes differential equations into algebraic equa equations uh, that are maybe easier to solve. Uh, that's sort of the idea. Uh, then we look at uh, power series methods, which are basically to write everything as a power series and try to plug it in and see. Um, uh, you know, uh, see if you can choose the coefficients in such a way that you get a, uh, uh, you get an equation. So it's kind of a brute force, <laughs> in in some sense, brute force technique of of getting uh, solutions. But it actually works uh, quite well. And we're going to look at nonlinear equations. Nonlinear equations are really tricky <laughs> that so it's you know once once you have nonlinear equations all sorts of stuff goes wrong uh, so uh you know all sorts of uh you know there's all sorts of weird behavior um uh, you know one thing that you've probably seen that comes up with uh, nonlinear equations or one thing that you've heard about is, is chaos theory right um and uh, chaos theory comes about really because the the equations for uh for temperature for weather uh, right are nonlinear right so you had this this idea that you know you know uh, some small flutter of the wings of a butterfly in the Amazon causes um, a hurricane in the uh, North Atlantic uh, so and that's really because of the nonlinearity of, of of those equations um <clears throat> all right so what is the prerequisite uh, for this class well uh, a basic sequence in calculus um, is, uh, is, is uh, you know, basically what's needed. And for systems, uh, some prior exposure to linear algebra uh, will be useful as well. Um, all right, so um, that's basically it. So, well, you know, 
Uh, so see you in the next lecture when, when we're actually going to start looking at things. All right, see you then.